g'day, g'day, and good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy Sheehan. And I'm Ellie Nyamura, and welcome, welcome to LTE 10. Today is March 26th, and happy National Spinach Day. Thank you, Austin. Let's move on to the next segment. Howdy, Lunchy Lions. I'm Nick, and I'm here with your lunch choices. Today is Monday 26th. Hope you had a good spring break. Launch choices for today are chicken nuggets, dinner roll, french fries, or Dan yogurt string cheese, and mini UBR or harvest bar. Once again, I'm Nick, and that's your lunch choices for the day. Hi, I'm Roy Fenster. And I'm Kate Niebergall. And this week is CMAS testing. Whether you like it or not, here are some tips to help you prepare. Get good rest and try to go to bed early. Eat a good breakfast that keeps you going throughout the day. No, Romy, none of that junk food. Go like this. Drink a lot of water. Being dehydrated can make you not do as well on your test. Concentrate. Don't get stressed, but try your best. Good luck. Anyways, see you in a little. Bye. Hello, LT students. I'm Declan, and that's Ellie. And spring has sprung all over LTE, and there are signs of planting all over. Three sixth grade students are using their Lion Leaders project to plant a tower garden in the school. Mason, Marissa, and Anaya have been working on bringing LTE a tower garden of herbs, including mint, arugula, basil, lettuce, cilantro, cherry tomatoes, and more. Also, there have been fourth graders that have been working on planting some plants to put in the greenhouse. Down by the garden, there's a greenhouse that's been sitting there for at least two years. So are they finally starting to use it? I don't know. Let's go find out. What do worms look like? <gasps> They're pink. They have no teeth, no nose, no eyes, and no legs and no arms. What do worms like to eat? Very carrots. They like to eat apples and peppers, too. What is vermicomposting? Trying your snack wrappers away. Feed the worms to um, let them grow forever. And then the worm poops it out. And it makes the soil richer for plants to grow. What will we do with the soil? We will plant it in our garden. What are in the worm layers? Water, cardboard, and newspaper. Keep me clean. You want a good or bad? Save, Save our, our world. world. Recycle well. Put it in the can. Save, Save our world. Only recycle. Stop, Stop wasting. Reuse snack bags. This Wednesday, Miss Black's class will be selling snack bags, insulator bags for $3 each, zipper bags $5. We'll be coming around with a cart Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Save, Save our world! world! Hey strangers, it's Jocelyn and I'm back. Did any of you know that before spring break it was Pi Day? Well, in sixth grade, it was about the funnest day out of the whole year. Pi Day was on March 14th and we celebrated on that day because Pi, a Greek letter, is used in mathematics to help calculate the circumference of a circle. The circumference is all the way around the outside of the circle. The number Pi goes on forever and ever and ever, but it starts with the number 3.14. Get it? 3.14, March 14th, ha! Anyway, let's go take a look. So what are you guys doing? Um, so we're measuring the circumference and the diameter of the glitter bottle. And what does this have to do with Pi Day? If you multiply the circumference and the diameter with the right measurements, you'll hopefully get Pi. And so what has been your guys' favorite part of Pi Day? Pi eating. Um, my favorite part has been participating in the Pi Memorization Contest. Uh, Haley! Yeah. Haley! Woo. Haley! Woo. 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 
It's Aiden Snowdy with your 10 second trivia. What college basketball team has won the most championships? Is it A, North Carolina, B, UCLA, C, Kentucky, or D, Duke? Time's up. The answer is B, UCLA. Let's move on. Hi, I'm Nick, and I'm with Aiden and Austin. And did you know that March Madness has officially started? March Madness is the biggest college tournament held across various cities in America. The Madness invites the best teams in the U.S., so there are always highlight plays, buzzer beaters, and upsets. This is why so many people are into the big tournament. The tournament is also famous for huge prizes, as people can pick which teams they think will move on to the Swix. Sweet 16, Elite 8, and Final Four. This tournament has evolved from starting in 1939, and only eight teams were invited to play. Oregon won the first ever tournament. This year, I'm going with the Miracle Team, the Lone Tree University Lions. That's not a team. Oh. Well, I'll go with the Virginia Cavaliers. Now that's random. G'day, g'day, I'm Tommy Sheehan, and today we have more than just one super student. We're going to dive into the wonders of third grade. Who came up with the idea of the snack drive? Our teacher, Miss Christians, came up with the idea. Where are these snacks going? 